So this video, I want to chat about um, meal timing, okay, and um, what is important about meal timing and what actually doesn't matter so much. So the first thing is, um, I want to kind of dig into intermittent fasting, which is quite a big thing at the moment. You know, I see so many people saying, oh, intermittent fasting, it's working for me, it's been amazing. And I'm not saying it can't work for you, but I want to be clear on why it works, okay? It's not a magic bullet. So the first thing is, intermittent fasting is simply skipping breakfast and then eating later in the day. For most people, they'll just be skipping their first meal of the day and then eating at lunchtime and then the evening. Now, this could create a window for reduced consumption of calories, okay? So say you're somebody who has quite a big breakfast normally and then you don't eat breakfast, but then you just have um, lunch and dinner, then potentially you're cutting out quite a few calories, which is going to lead to fat loss potentially, okay? Because essentially the rules of calories in, calories out still apply, okay? They still apply. Intermittent fasting is not some magic bullet. It just isn't. I had a little conversation with somebody a while ago, a lady who said she tried intermittent fasting. I said, oh, so how did that go for you? And she said, oh, well, um, it's quite easy really because um, I only eat a banana in the morning um so i just cut that out but um i didn't lose any fat and i was like well look if you're only cutting out a banana in your whole day of eating that's not actually doing anything for you it's not the intermittent fasting that's working it's the reduction in overall calories so it may work for you but if you're somebody who can actually eat more in that window between lunchtime and going to bed it's not going to work for you so if you're somebody who's having a big lunch big dinner doing some snacking potentially you're just going back to maintenance or maybe even potentially you could still gain weight doing intermittent fasting it just depends but for some people intermittent fasting can work okay but it is not a magic bullet it doesn't create fat loss it just helps you to create a window where you potentially can eat less but the rules of calories in calories out still apply so the next thing um, is people seem to be really worried about what time they're eating at night. It doesn't matter what time of night you eat, okay? It generally doesn't for fat loss. It doesn't matter if you eat late. It doesn't matter at all. I eat late pretty much every night, okay, whether I'm burning calories to be um, in a calorie deficit where I'm eating less or whether I'm just eating my usual diet, I will not change my time of eating at all. It doesn't make any difference. The only thing that matters is how many calories I'm consuming. So this kind of myth that eating late at night is causing weight gain, gain is just absolutely, it's completely wrong. What can be causing weight gain is if in the evenings, it's the snacking you're doing or the eating you're doing is taking you over your calories. So it's the, the complete calorie consumption throughout the day that matters, not the time that you're eating. Now, having said that, there is nothing wrong with trying intermittent fasting as a tool for fat loss. If it works for you, it will work for you. But if you're finding you can't stick to it, you know, if you try it for a few days and you find you're constantly thinking about food um, and you're still managing to eat more in the evening, so you're not in a calorie deficit, then it's not for you. So don't stress it because you do not need to use it as a tool. What you need to do is find a way to be consistently in a calorie deficit. And that is different for everybody. OK, um, the other thing is. I think meal timing is important in the way that, for example, some people can cope without breakfast and that's fine. So it's a way of reducing calories. Some people need to eat breakfast, particularly people who get up early. OK, so you may find that going without breakfast means that you don't have enough energy for the day. OK, it may just mean that actually you're having cravings further down the line. Um, you're not feeling you can concentrate. You're not working out as well. So for some people, breakfast is going to be super important and it's a good time for getting in protein. So you can see that meal timing isn't important in the way we think about it for fat loss, but it is with regards to being able to meet our energy needs and work on our goals. Um, so it's the same with eating in the evening. Um, there is nothing wrong with eating late at night. Um, it might work for you better if you're somebody that actually craves a lot of uh, food in the evening so after you've had your tea you sit down you're going to start watching telly and you start craving snacks and things like that or maybe eating a little bit later means that if you save that meal till later on um, you're going to feel satiated um, and you're not going to crave snacks so much so that might work for you so it's not so much about um, the type of meal timing it's about whether it works for us and timing of meals is also important because if we eat balanced meals regularly throughout the day we shouldn't have as many cravings outside of that so you want to be eating regularly sort of um, for most people every three to four hours you want to be having a well-balanced meal when i say well-balanced meal you want everything on your plate that you need so your protein your fats your carbohydrates 
complex carbohydrates and your fibrous vegetables. If you create those meals and you eat them regularly throughout the day, you will probably find that you have less cravings anyway over time, which would hopefully reduce the overall calories that you're eating. So meal timing is important, but not in the way that it's been touted as either destroying your goals or being the absolute magic bullet, okay? Eating well-balanced meals, um, reducing the amount of processed food you're eating, drinking plenty of water, reducing alcohol, improving the amount you're moving, so getting out and walking more. Those are the things that are really gonna do it for you, okay? So I hope that's useful. Hope I've cleared that up and I will see you soon.